Lauren, and in this video, I'm gonna go over the different ways you can clock in and clock out through Phil Pulse's mobile app. So, I am gonna start off on the Pulse dashboard. You'll notice under timesheets, in the bottom right hand corner, you have a clock in. You can select clock in to clock in from the dashboard. At the very bottom of the screen, you'll notice there is a timesheets icon. You can actually select the timesheets icon to clock in from there. If you need to clock in to an actual job, you can navigate to the schedule in the bottom left hand corner. You can see your jobs for the day. A pro tip, just make sure that the in the top right hand corner that you have your jobs expanded. So you'll notice the arrows pointing up and down. If you select that, it will expand and you'll notice there is a clock in in the center of the screen. So if I'm looking at the service call here, you can actually clock in by clicking there. You're gonna see the date, you're gonna see the time. It's gonna actually relate it to that job and then you can clock in. And if you want to include any notes, you certainly can. You just hit save, clock in, and then the clock starts running. You can always navigate to timesheets here and you'll notice that it says working at the top so you know you're clocked in. You can also see all the activity related to your timesheets for that day. So if I look at the very bottom of the screen, I can see that I was clocked in at 10 a.m. I clocked out at two o'clock. I clocked back in at 2.38 and I clocked out at 2.40. Here again, you'll see kind of the timestamp as well as uh, any jobs that it was related to. At the very top, if you wanted to select the week, right now we're on day, but if you look to the right, you can select week and you can see all of your um, clock in and clock out history from here. If you look at week of March 21st, you can actually go back and look at particular days. So if I went back to the current week and I selected day, the other thing that you can do is right directly below the 24, the Thursday, there is a light gray bar. You can actually bring this down to see the full calendar. And if you wanted to select a week this way, you could also look at different days by clicking here. So there is a few different ways you can clock in and clock out, just depending on how your company wants to manage time. Um, it is pretty simple, but we are here to support you. If you have additional questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at fuelpulse.com. Thanks so much.